don't underestimate your mathematical ability. Don't. Because you really can do more than you think you can. You can learn more math in a week than you think you can. You can learn more math in a year than you think you can. Because I really, you know, I, I'm one of those glass half full kind of people. I'm pretty positive. I, I really think it's possible. You know, I had this uh, professor once. He wasn't my professor in grad school. And he was in a room and he was talking to another student, not to me. And he said to the student, you know, you're really only two weeks away from being as good as so-and-so. And I was like, whoa, he's, he's comparing him to another student. And he was telling the student that just because, you know, so-and-so seems so much better, you know, if you study really hard, I mean, you're, you're probably only about two weeks behind. I thought, wow, that's pretty deep. Two weeks. Like, I can't learn that much math in two weeks. Yes, you can. Right? Yes, you can. It's possible. You can learn a lot of math. The trick is to really be able to focus and be able to sit down and have a quiet space where you can just really, really focus. You have to have the time and the energy to do it. But you can learn a lot of math. You know, even if it takes you longer than two weeks, you can catch up. So if you're taking a class and you know, you're working really, really hard and it feels like you can't catch up to your classmates, it feels like they're miles ahead, just know that you're really not that far behind, right? You can catch up. You know, as an example, when I was taking physics, I felt like I was behind all of my classmates. I felt like they were all so much better than me. And my struggle was not really the physics when I took physics. It was the math. I really struggled with the math. I remember having an equation, something like 1 over P plus 1 over Q equals 1 over F. It was something like that. And I was trying to solve for one of the variables in the test. And I couldn't. I didn't know how to solve for F uh, because it was on the bottom of the fraction. And I couldn't do it. And I feel like the math was what was holding me back. And, you know, as the semesters passed, you know, I surpassed all the people that I knew in that class mathematically, probably because I was a math major, <laughs> they were engineers, but still, but still, I felt like I was able to, to get better at a much faster pace. So I got over that hump. I got to that, to that next level. So if you're feeling like you're behind, just realize that you're probably not that behind. Uh, you can catch up. You can get better. Good luck.